yeah uh, ma'am has uh, posted this dem.tif uh, we have to download this and op open a new tab and then you get option to download from here download it okay i have already downloaded this and uh, it's in i have already downloaded to the desktop now i'm uh, copying it and i created a folder called qgis and i'm pasting it in this folder yeah done okay now uh, this uh, this qgis folder contains this dem file now i hope everyone knows how to install qgis uh, yeah i'm opening qgis yeah it opened uh, the interface looks like this it's black here because duck mode is on that's it yeah and uh, the first thing that we are going to do after opening QGIS is uh, we have to go to plugins manage and install plugins okay and there uh, in the search use uh, you have to search uh, quick map services okay here you go and here you get an option to install plugin okay i have already installed it so i'm getting reinstall plugin yeah after installing this uh, you have to close uh, that's simple that you can do it and then after that uh, you need to create a new project okay after creating new project see uh, the interface looks like this uh, this is called processing toolbar uh, for suppose you didn't get this processing toolbar to the side uh, if it's like this uh, to get the processing toolbar just click on this gear icon you get the processing toolbar if you also cannot find this gear icon uh, then uh, you go to view you go to panels and then uh, you get processing toolbox okay you just click on it you'll get it so uh, this is how uh, we get processing toolbox okay uh, yeah and now what we do is we go to web we go to quick map services and then we go to osm and we click on osm standard yeah this is osm standard now uh, this is our west bengal region yeah the next thing uh, that we are going to do is uh, uh, we are going to this uh, e e s e s uh, e p s g you find it like to this uh, bottom right corner you just click on it uh, you get this kind of a window yeah uh, actually you won't find anything up here uh, like um, the uh, you, you won't be fine uh, you won't uh, find anything here uh, WGS so uh, you basically have to search like uh, uh, you have to search something from here uh, you need to select it and you need to apply so you have to search WGS 84 slash uh, space slash utm zone 45 n yeah you get this here you just need to select this you need to apply this and then click on ok yeah that you have to do and again verify if you have WGS uh, UTM zone 45 north yeah after this uh, the next step is now uh, you have this OSM standard in this layer and then you also have this uh, 
uh, UTM zone 45 and WGS 84 yeah and then now uh, you need to do you have already downloaded that DM file so we have to add the DM file so we go to layer add layer add raster layer and then uh, here you click on these three dots already that QGIS file is open for example I'll open it again and show you desktop uh, and then QGIS and then DIM DEM dot TIFF okay and I'm opening it after uh, doing this I add it and then close okay it's added it's added here as you can see it uh, the uh, the black represents 12 and the, the white is 13 40 okay uh, it's like this yeah uh, yeah now after doing this what we have to do is you just search fill in this processing toolbox search window you just type fill okay here you find fill sinks wang and Louis. you just select this and double click on it this will open okay ignore this uh, you just uncheck these two okay and then uh, these three dots and save to a file and I am saving this in the QGIS file only uh, like all the QGIS things uh, and that file uh, folder I created on the desktop and I am saving this as fill okay and save after doing this I am running I am running this okay yeah it takes quite a while to run yeah uh, the process is finished here you can see algorithm fill sync swang and Louis finished okay and then you have to close it yeah I've sped this up quite a bit uh, it usually takes uh, a more time uh, that's it. Uh, it, it it's not so quick yeah after doing this you just need to go to this layers uh, right click on this you get properties okay click on properties yeah here you uh, uh, render type you just select single pan pseudo color and then uh, all this you need not change in this uh, you uh, this is in whole raster uh, wait I'll change the appearance to uh, light mode yeah now you can see it better uh, single band pseudo color yeah and then you just uh, this will be in whole raster and uh, you just uh, click this as uh, actual actual wait let me on this yeah yeah uh, this whole raster and then uh, uh, this is uh, actual then after that you just click on this uh, drop down and you need to go to create new color ramp and then select a catalog CP CPTCT and then okay then after that you just go to topography and select elevation and then ok yeah uh, after that you just click on exact 
uh, you go back to linear and uh, just uh, you you just need to go to exact so that uh, all these things appear and then you go back to linear uh, yeah and then uh, you just click ok do not forget to do this uh, exact and then go back to linear um, I don't know uh, if you get uh, these colors uh, directly in linear uh, need not change it to exact and then going back to linear but uh, if you don't get it if you just get blue and black then you need to do the changes uh, you just need to go to exact and then again click on linear uh, you get this yeah uh, this is uh, this is how it looks okay then after that uh, 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 after doing this you just uh, have to go uh, go to again go to this to processing toolbox and type stra s tra order uh, and then select this okay and double click on it uh, this will open you just make sure that you have this fill fill okay and then again um, click on this save to file and then again the QGIS file you just uh, type stream order uh, make sure that there won't be any space uh, in between and then click on save okay and then again run it yeah uh, this is done see it's shown finished uh, you can just close this okay now again uh, we have to go to its properties uh, select uh, single band pseudo color and then uh, we need not go and change anything here uh, we just need to uh, go and click here and then blues yeah that's it and then uh, here you just click on equal interval and change this to 10 yeah and then click on ok this is how it looks uh, actually uh, there might be something wrong with the DI and DEM uh, that's why uh, the one is shown near the reverse and uh, actually near the reverse it should be around 11 uh, it should be dark but the opposite is shown here uh, so maybe something wrong with the DEM uh, uh, yeah uh, uh, that's it for the first class this is what uh, ma'am discussed in the first class yeah uh, so uh, this is the end of the uh, tutorial for this first class discussed by ma'am and as usual like any other youtuber I also ask you to please subscribe to my channel and then if you like it uh, then give a thumbs up if you don't then give a thumbs down it's okay 
and uh, yeah and please do comment i'm sure chaitanya will be giving me a thumbs down as i'm his competition kind of i guess yeah now i'm ending this recording that's it for today